Hello everyone and let's check out another beautiful chess game from the chess history and this time in this chess game white is Gary Kasparov and his opponent is Johan Hjertersen from Iceland. Well Hjertersen was the six times Icelandic chess champion. His last victory was in 2016 and in 1987 Hjertersen was the world candidate player. So Hjertersen was an important player. And let's check out how this game went on. And this game was played in Netherlands in 1989. Gary Kasparov, who has the white pieces, starts the game with playing d4, knight to f6, knight to f3, d5, and then c4 by Kasparov. The queen's gambit declined, e6, knight to c3, D takes on c4, e4, bishop to b4, pinning the knight, bishop to g5, also Kasparov is pinning the knight, c5, bishop takes on c4, c takes on d4, and knight takes on d4, and Hjertersen captured the knight, b takes on c3, queen to a5, also attacking the bishop, what would you do? In this position, Kasparov played bishop to b5, that's check, blocking, and capturing the knight. Bishop takes on f6, g takes on f6, and queen to b3, a6, attacking the bishop, bishop to e2, not exchanging the bishops, and black developed his knight, knight to c6, and Kasparov castled, queen to c7, rook from a to b1, Attacking the pawn, attacking the queen, queen to a3, and rook to c8, targeting the weak pawn. What now? Maybe defending the pawn. But Kasparov is not defending anything. He centralized his rook and planning to attack. Queen takes on c3 and queen to d6 by Kasparov, not exchanging the queens, and black is a pawn up. Black is offering to exchange the queens, queen to c7. But Kasparov played an incredible move. What would you do in this position? Kasparov played a vicious move. What would you do now? Well, he played knight to f5 by Kasparov and threatening checkmate. But most importantly, offering the knight. What a deep sacrifice by Kasparov, sacrificing the knight, and Black happily captured the knight. If not capturing the knight, if let's say capturing the queen, then this is forking the king and the rook. Let's get back to the real game. So knight to f5 by Gary Kasparov, but we have e takes on f5, capturing the knight, and queen takes on f6, attacking the rook. Black castled. What now? Black is a piece of Gary Kasparov sacrificed the whole knight. But the black's g file is open. And Kasparov wants to viciously attack from this g file, planning to play rook to g3. How to defend? Well, after rook to g3, the only defense is queen takes rook, and then black is losing the queen. So f4 is probably the only defense, but then rook to d5 by Kasparov. This time he is threatening to play rook to g5, check, mate. Only defense, h6, and queen takes pawn. Once again, rook to g5 is the threat. f5 defending. Kasparov played rook to b6, the other rook joins the torture. How to defend now? Bishop to c6, disconnecting the rook with the queen, and maybe attacking the rook, but in this position, once again, Gary Kasparov played another incredible move. Well, he captured the knight, and allowing queen takes rook, but we have queen to h7, not capturing the rook. In this position, black didn't capture the bait, if queen takes rook, then there is forced checkmate. This time the bishop joins the attack. Bishop to c4, only defense. 
Bishop takes on f7, check. Only move. King takes on f7, and then rook takes on f5, king to e7, queen to g5, king to e8. And as you can see, black is getting checkmated, king to e8, and then queen to e7, check, mate. There is no defense. So this is why Kasparov captured the pawn. Rook takes on e5. Queen to h7. And Kasparov captured one more pawn. Queen takes on f4. And black can't offer too many pawn losses. This is why Johan Huertson resigned. What a game by Gary Kasparov. Black resigned at this moment of the game. Kasparov has two extra pawns. And the best part is, black can't capture this pawn. Because then black is losing very badly. Let me show you the possible continuation. Bishop takes on e4. And then, queen to g5, check. If blocking with the queen, then rook to g6. is over for black. King to h8. But then this time, we have rook to h6. This is all over. What happens if pawn takes pawn? Then rook to g5, check. King to h8, queen to e5. Only defense, only sensible defense. How to defend? You can't block with the rook. Let's say queen to g7, and then queen takes on g7, check, mate. The only sensible continuation was rook to f6 in this position, but then white captures one more pawn, and there are too many pawn losses for black. White has three extra pawns, and what a slugfest, what an amazing chess game, what a vicious chess game by Gary Kasparov. He viciously attacked his opponent. What a game. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.